Thank you, thank you. Jack Sheehan on alto sax. Jack Sheehan. Paul Woo! Sanchez on trumpet. Paul Sanchez. Michael Wooten on piano. Michael's back. And Robert Vega do it on the end. Robert Vega and Alex, uh, Alex Madeline on alto, on, uh, uh, what is that? That's a tenor sax. <laughs> We're thrilled to be here tonight to open this program, and now we have another announcement. That was really terrific, thank you. A few years ago, we established the Herb Pomeroy Jazz Composition and Arranging Contest, and to bring, uh, to make the presentation, please welcome the Chair of Jazz Composition, Eric Gould. Good evening. No, I'm not that guy, so, uh, you know, I, I will ask you respectfully to not uh, try that one um, because I will not be presenting a Herb Pomeroy Award to anyone if that's going on. So, so I'd like to welcome you to the Herb Pomeroy, I mean, to, to the presentation of the Herb Pomeroy Award. Herb Pomeroy is a legendary uh, uh, educator here at Berkeley, and uh, we have, in the jazz composition department, have deep roots with regard to him. Many of the jazz composition faculty studied under Herb Pomeroy. He had the, this band that you're listening to, as a matter of fact, used to be called the Recording Ensemble under the direction of Herb Pomeroy, and uh, Greg Hopkins took it over in the 1990s, and. Uh, it became the Berkeley Concert Jazz Orchestra. Herb Pomeroy is a deep and, and integral part of Berkeley's history, so it's very fitting that this award would be named after him. This year's recipient of the Herb Pomeroy Jazz Composition and Arranging Contest is James Branfenbrenner. James is 16 years old. He plays piano and trumpet. He studied uh, trumpet or studies trumpet with John Bailey, who, like Greg Hopkins here, was an alumni of the Buddy Rich Band. Uh, he's also played with, uh, his teacher has also played with Arturo Ferro. So he has good uh, background in wind instruments, but he's a pianist as, uh, primarily as well. So um, he also studies composition with Aleski Stevens. Uh, so he cl studies classical composition, and that has informed his work as well. He was, uh, actually, James came in third place last year. Uh, so he, uh, he's a, a story of persistence and, and determination. He came back, and now he's the winner. Uh, and he's the winner in a strong field this year as well. The piece was inspired by uh, summer camp in Europe, and uh, he, he had to learn how to waltz in Vienna, so uh, he called it waltz for last summer. And, and I think it was uh, uh, very well done. It was performed earlier today, so it won't be performed this evening. But uh, I want to give a special uh, recognition to his parents, uh, Sandy and Josh Branfen Brenner, and to his band. Yes. <laughs> Nobody gets to be here without their parents, right? And to his band director, John Cataliato. Sorry about that. That's right. So without further ado, I'd like to bring James up to present him with the plaque for the Herb Pomeroy Jazz Composition and Arranging Contest. ago I mentioned that we've made some history here in 2016. We, we did so by adding a new category to our festival. This category is called the Jazz Singers Showcase and it features solo vocalists. They spent the morning working with Deborah Bird who is the former head coach for American Idol and currently a vocal coach 
at, uh, for The Voice. She is a Broadway artist and uh, currently chair of Voice at Musicians Institute. We had an amazing morning. Students submitted YouTube videos of themselves singing a jazz standard which were screened last fall by a panel of judges at Berklee College of Music. Ten finalists were selected to come to Boston to compete this afternoon. Please put your hands together for all of the finalists. You're going to hear this a few times tonight, but our, our festival 2017 is Saturday, February 11th, so we are looking for you and your friends to submit videos so the second year of this category will be even stronger and, and, and better, if that is even possible. Uh, I would like to tell you that we already announced these winners this afternoon, but it's in fairness to them to bring them to the stage. So in third place, receiving a tuition scholarship to attend a Berkeley three-day summer program of her choice, please help me congratulate Kiva Trumbor from Rockport High School, Rockport, Massachusetts. Second place, you know who you are. Make your way toward the stage, please. Eva. In second place, receiving a tuition scholarship for a five-day summer program of her choice. Please help me congratulate Maisie Ryle from Princeton High School, Princeton, New Jersey. And now I would like to invite Deborah Bird to the stage, please. Anytime you announce the winner, you, you must surround her with as much vocal love as, you, as we can. So the first place winner will receive a full tuition scholarship to the Berkeley Five Week Summer Program. And she will open the show to be the first high school performer of the evening Put your hands together for Leah Boswell Edwards from Howard Blake High School in Tampa, Florida. As promised, Leah is going to sing. We have two arrangements that were written specifically for the Jazz Singers Showcase. One written by the acclaimed jazz bassist John Clayton. John, I think you are in the house. So there he is, John Clayton's arrangement of I Love Being Here With You. She will also sing Ken Zambello's arrangement of Oh What a Beautiful Morning. Ken Zambello, where are you? There he is, Berkeley Ensemble faculty member. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making the Berkeley High School Jazz Festival Jazz Singers Showcase debut, Leah Boswell Edwards and the Berkeley Concert Jazz Orchestra under the direction of Greg Hopkins. <laughs> a bright golden haze on the meadow there's a bright golden haze on the meadow 
the corn is as high as a John Clayton. They're both 
the stairs Randall's eyes You win his hair I think the tell is only fair I love being here with you And Freddie Grant Oh, do that day His other charm Something else you know, yeah. They know how to say it, they know how to play it, they wind it up and let it go. I love the view of New York show. I love to kiss the one's nose. Well, I think I'll tell you for I close. I love Boswell Edwards and the Berkeley Concert Jazz Orchestra, Greg Hopkins.